<laughs> All right, so here we are in Vinter. What's the first thing we need to do? It's our project. I've got a project file. Right here on my desktop. I've got a product file. It's made correctly. How do I, what do I need to do? Open. Open. Then what? Go to what folder? Desktop. Where? Do I pick here? No, Good. project's the one. No, I need to go to projects, right? I need to activate that project. I'm going to browse, desktop, 3D sketch. 3D sketch. There's my IPJ. There I go. Double click it to activate it. And done. Now I can open up that assembly. And we're going to do the same thing top down here. Just made a nice, fun thing for you guys to work on. And we wait. And wait. Then restart. And wait again. Because it doesn't like me. It's Monday. Because it's on vacation too long. I don't think I've used Inventor 12 on this computer yet. <laughs> this will take a while. You can find your corrupt file or something. Start. So, <laughs> start here. You've got a little starting spot, and then I've got a bunch of little plates with holes in them and some cross beams. So the goal is that we're gonna make a, a piece of wire go through each of the holes and be tied to the tie beam, the cross beams. <laughs> or, or over the cross beams. Either make it over or make it just at the bottom like it was tied to it. Can't wrap it. <laughs> and then out the other hole. What is finished? To so the, the ending spot. Yeah. Let's see how I can drive my students crazy. What was that? The engineer board game. <laughs> so, <clears throat> this is kind of um, at Westmark <clears throat> when they do piping and wiring and stuff on the trailers. Mm -hmm. This is how they do it. They don't use the tube and pipe, they don't have that module. So they do it with 3D sketches, just like we're going to do. And so, they're too cheap to buy it. <laughs> what, what do you think um, is going to be our first thing we do? We're going to start drawing the lines. Get a starting point. Look at what I've got in my browser. All I've got is this part here. So I need a new part. How do you think I'm going to make, put a new part in? Nice. Let's create next to place. Where it says create? Right here. So I'm going to create. Now it's going to ask me what do I want named, where, where do I want it to go, if there, I have one of the templates that I want to use. So do I want to use a sheet metal or, or go into a weldment assembly or just a standard part? Um, how do I want the VOM structure to be? Um, so I'm just going to call it wire. wire. I do want it to go in the project, no subfolders or anything. So I'll say OK. Now it's asking me where I want to put it. I want to put it on that. You see here, when I picked on that plane, where did it put the origin? Center right on the center of that plane. Where was the origin in SolidWorks? So where it was way over somewhere else, right? Yeah. So that's one of the differences between Vinter and SolidWorks. Vinter will make it where you pick, that'll be your, your starting point and your origin and, and everything. So now I can go in. First I'll do a 2D sketch on there. There's 
do a half inch half inch wire. That's a pretty big wire, right? Just a little. It's like, it's like file wire. Okay. Now I'll create a three D sketch. So I've got a couple of different options here. <coughs> I can do lines. I can do helical curves. Um, I can do splines. I can do arcs. I can do bends, which is basically just to fill it. I have some limited um, constraints. I have some stuff for surfaces. So I'm just going to do a spline. This little guy comes up. And so I'm just going to pick. I want to start there. So here, it's not I'm not locked on the axis like oh, it all works. Here, it's based on how I'm looking at it. So if I'm looking at it this way, like from the front, it's going to go straight up. If I'm looking at it from here, it's going to go straight across from that point. And so if I Kind of change my angle, so I'm looking at it here. I click, I go over a little bit, click, click. And then right click, create. You can see that curve got a lot more extreme down as I turn the angle of it. So here's more going more to the side. Here's one more down as I got turn my angle. <coughs> Yeah, that's where the three. <laughs> and so it's really how you're looking at it is going to determine how it's going to move. So if I. Why? Or why? This is not like me today. It's your Monday. On the way here is working perfectly. It's fine. Okay. I'll do that first. So if I kind of come up. See how it's kind of adjusting. If I go in and actually click on something, it, it'll snap to those endpoints. Right click, create. What about to the, uh, the holes? Yeah, you're right. I didn't get through the holes, huh? So what I want to do now, I'm just going to grab my points, right click, 3D move rotate, and I can move it around and hit OK to see where it does. Or if I go in, turn to the handle,
see this part of it is not quite as it, it used to be a little easier in 11. In 12, it's a little harder to move them around. So you, it's easier to kind of set it up in Inventor, but in SolidWorks, it's a lot easier to work with it once you get it set up. I don't know. I can't figure out why it's not letting me move the, the endpoints to change the angle of the lines. Okay. But you can move it around to make it fit through. You see this symbol right here? It's a little two arrow thing. Right here? What do you think that means? Because it has it down here on that on that work plane. It also has it up here on the part in this in the assembly. Is it what you're working on right now? No, because if I hit return, it still has it. Even if I go in to it. <coughs> I do that sweep. Still has that sign. Could it be that there's a problem? No. That, that's not a problem sign. You're on the right track. It doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to update. But what's different about this piece here? Than anything we've done before. It's on the three. Besides that, it's dependent on this thing here, right? Mm -hmm. If I changed where that was, so I went into here. Oh, it's a change it with Move that hole. Origin. It should have gone with it. It's just making me a big old liar today. But if I if I projected that. I guess it did. It went out. I guess it didn't tie the center to stay with it, and I can change my circle to the center of it. But if I had gone into my circle and just made it now with this one. It doesn't want to work for me. If I constrained it and removed that hole, it would have moved. Instead of trying to just use the origin, if I projected the geometry and made it stick with the geometry, it would have gone. It just doesn't want to help me today. Um, so, so, do your steam engine, put the, the pipe on it there, do this one. Run some wires through there. You just 
practice using it.